So once you've gone through a couple of sources of information, make sure you've got a variety. If a, bo a book, if it's available, a website, uh, an encyclopedia article, then I tend to go back and revisit my focus questions for a final time and, and check for information gaps. So I sort of ticked ones that I think I can answer and the number of ticks means that I'm really certain that I can answer it. And then I've actually gone back and I've highlighted areas that I know are important and I still don't have information for. So I've highlighted these and that will drive my next search. So once you've identified some information gaps, you need to use those search terms and make sure you use multiple search terms and really specific ones. And I tend to use Google Advanced rather than just the basic Google level. And if you've never used Google Advanced before, go and Google Google Advanced and you'll get to the page. There it is there. It will give you a selection of more specific boxes that you need to think about and it helps you order your search terms. So if I wanted to do Socrates, I could put an exact phrase here if I was after say his early life um, or any of these words. So I know I need legacy and then I'm trying to think of alternative words for it. Significance or maybe importance. So I'm telling Google I want Socrates and I need to know information about his legacy or significance or importance and then press advanced search. So see up here it actually shows you and these are called boolean how you would do it. So it's a really good way to learn how Google thinks and these all these pages will have Socrates and will have something to do with his significance or his legacy or his importance. So remember that Google is incredibly huge and so you need to do some thinking about applying some of those search strategies. So if I search for Socrates and the word early and the word life, Google tells me there's 700,000 results there. Now even if I just simply put in the quotation mark so that early life appears as a phrase, then I'm going to improve my results and narrow it down to 240,000. Still far too much. But I tend to have, before I even open pages, I'll have a look at the address, .com, I'll have a look at the title, I'll even see where the words appear in the little descriptions.